So I'm starting with a well prepped skin. I've applied tons of aloe vera gel. I'm then brightening my under eyes with this Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline and just buffing it out with this concealer brush. I didn't use a color corrector because I will be using a compact powder which is very close to my natural skin tone so it's going to cancel out all the whiteness that you see right now. I'm gently pressing the powder on my face and I'm not dragging it because I want it to last long and I want it to absorb the oil that you see on my face. I'm also applying it under the eyes like I said earlier. So as you see right now, my skin doesn't look white like it was appearing before. It looks pretty neutral right now. I'm an extra girly and I like that extra highlighted under eyes. So I'm picking this lighter shade by Maybelline and applying it under my eyes. I'm using the Swiss Beauty blush in the shade pink and it really looks good on my skin even though it's such a bright pink and it's very pigmented and I'm a blush girly okay so I love switching between colors and blushes so this time I chose pink. I'm using the K-Beauty contour stick as my contour and eyeshadow. I'm not a big fan of contouring but I feel like it does give you that snatched face that everyone likes so that's why I'm just using it. Also applying this on my eyes and then smudging it up a little bit. I am a full-on winged eyeliner girl. I just love giving myself that dramatic winged eyeliner. But as usual, I messed it up this time and because I couldn't really figure out the camera angle. But nonetheless, we did it in the end. I had to fix it up a little bit off camera because, you know, it's just difficult to do your liner in front of the camera. You get really nervous. I'm using this eyebrow pencil that is my mom's and don't ask me where I got it, where she bought it from because I have no idea. I've been using it since like, I don't know, maybe 10 years, 20 years, I don't know. This just gets the job done and I don't really apply anything else on my eyebrows because they're already pretty dense. And OMG, just look at this shimmer brick. It is so pretty. I recently bought it. It's by Mars, I suppose. And I'm picking up that lighter pink shade and applying it on my cheeks. Now comes the lip part. I just love doing my lips. I line my lips with Mars and I'm just focusing on the center point of my lips. I'm not dragging it like towards the end, just the center parts. And then I'm taking this lipstick by My Glam and I'm just applying it. And it is a little too matte for my taste. So I'm applying this Lamel Lip Oil and this gives you such plumpy lips guys you have to buy this product it is the best and that is the finished makeup look uh, if you like it you can comment down below if you have some grits you can also comment if you feel like i'm a dumbass you can say that in the comments too i won't mind oh there's more i did feel like my hair was looking too flat so i just grabbed this curling iron and i curled only the top half of my head and a little bit on the ends just you know give that golden girl feels to my hair also my hair was like really greasy and dirty that day if you haven't noticed already 
but it's just me trying my best to look aesthetic and with that we finished this makeup tutorial i hope you enjoyed watching this video i had a lot of fun filming it and if you like this video then do like it and subscribe to my channel and till then i will see you in my next video goodbye and take care